Hi guys, good to see you again to another episode of Shape It Till You Make It. And today we want to see the magic of beam shaping. So let's have a look at the Aspherocon top shape. The top shape is meant to convert a Gaussian beam into a top head. And how that works is what we want to see today. I first checked the beam out of the aspherical. The beam now is about 5 mm in diameter. Yes. All beam shaping elements are fairly sensitive to the incoming beam diameter. And this is true to all beam shaping um, devices that you can buy on the market. The top shape requires a 10 millimeter input beam. So we have to increase our beam first. We have five millimeter here, so I want a 10 millimeter beam there. So we need to increase our beam first and therefore we are going to use the Aspherocon beam expanders, also a device I have explained in an earlier session. Since the beam was about five millimeters, I'm now adding a two times magnifying beam expander to receive a 10 millimeter beam in the end. Now turn the beam on again, turn the laser on. And I think you all see that the beam has now increased. And let's check. I would say it's about 10 millimeters. You could also see with the naked eye, if you look at the beam, that it's much brighter in the center and that the energy decreases to the edges. So it's a nice Gaussian beam distribution that we have here out of our single mode fiber. So we now add the top shape and see what happens next. So remove the dust caps, use one of the adapters and now install the top shape. So let's have a look at our beam, turn the laser on, ta-da! And this is where the magic happens. I think we can now clearly see that we do now have a very nice homogeneous intensity distribution here in that beam. And the good thing is with the uh, top shape, we do have this nice homogene intensity distribution in a fairly long working distance. So I hope you like the magic of beam shaping and stay with me, shape it till you make it, till the next time. Tschüss!